This video is brought to you by Kaiser Knives. Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this knife, which is the Kaiser Critical. And uh, what I wanna do in this video is talk about this knife, give you some of the details, show you what it looks like in use, and then I wanna roll in probably another 10 plus knives, what I would call oversized or extra large EDC knives. This one, when you look on your average website to purchase it, it's gonna fall into the EDC category. And that makes sense to me based on how it looks, the function. Um, for me, I've, I've mentioned this before, but when a knife is really aesthetically pleasing and it's got, I don't know, just it's kind of a handsome blade like this, I'm thinking I probably don't wanna take this out into the woods and beat it up too much. Now that being said, I wanna talk about these other blades and I wanna give you probably four or five different types of people who I think would like what I would call those extra large or oversized EDC knives. So let's start by talking about this and then we'll talk about the other ones as well. Let's check out the weight on the critical. And this weighs in at 6.305 ounces. So definitely a large, heavy for most people, everyday carry knife. Let's get the scale out of the way here. Let's take out the tape measure and take a look at the size of this knife here. So let's see, end to end. Line that up nicely. We're looking at, I would say eight and three quarter inches. You're looking at a cutting, uh, a blade length, the actual cutting portion of the blade, uh, three and a half, your total blade, I would say, you know, right around maybe three and three quarters. And then, so obviously your handle is from, I would say four to eight and three quarters. So almost five inches for, uh, for the knife. S35 VN for the steel, titanium handle. Handsome blade, Warncliffe style here, little jimping up top. Just to show you some of the uh, the details here, you can see, here's your blade. And I have used this, but it cleaned up nicely. It cleaned up quite quite nicely. Um, I love that, I love that around the pivot. I just think that's really handsome, that kind of multicolored. There's your handle, obviously that's gonna eliminate some of the weight. I think that adds a little aesthetic, nice little aesthetic touch to it. There's your backspacer, kind of a light blue. Going to the other side, you can see pocket clip, so it's gonna be tip up only, right hand carry. Frame lock, which let me flip it around this way. There you go, frame lock. You can see critical right there. And this thing is very, very smooth as far as opening. Uh, my, my test is always to hold it you know, vertically like this and then it's a little bit hard to do at this angle with the camera, but flip it and even with a bad flip, it's still locked in there. So. Really fun to, to open and close, just very, very smooth. Comfortable in hand, I've got large size hands and that's what it actually looks like. You know, I guess you could place your fingertips in there. I, I hold it with my fingers actually above those, those holes, but that's what that looks like to actually hold it in hand. S35VN, awesome steel. Just that, you know, it's gonna be a great steel. So let me roll in some footage here to show you what it looks like in use. It does the job. I mean, it can cut wood, it can cut rope, or it can cut um, webbing, it can, you know, slice through paper, cut cardboard, plastic, all those different types of things. Uh, the tip on this knife is quite effective for, you know, different types of cutting. You can definitely pierce with it. It's not like it's too rounded. Um, I wouldn't wanna take this out into the woods as like a hunting knife to field dress game or anything like that, but, I mean, you know, your everyday carry type tasks, it's definitely gonna work. Tactical knife, I mean, I guess, because it's got a, a nice sharp point, it's comfortable in hand, and even if you have gloves on, it's gonna be easy to hold. But I I mean, generally, I would still not call this a, uh, a tactical knife. So with that said, let me tell you a little bit about when I think about a knife like this, like who it's for, um, who would like this knife, who would purchase this knife, who it would kind of fit into a system. Person number one is somebody who just likes cool looking knives and likes to take photos and post them on social media. I think this is just an aesthetically aesthetically pleasing knife. And therefore, if you're, like, you're someone who likes to take cool pictures, then this could be a, a good knife for you. So that's one person, just you know, someone who likes to take photo ops with a knife. Second is a person who maybe doesn't want to use their everyday carry knife out in the woods or you know, as a utility knife around you know, if they work in a, a warehouse or, you know, work in construction, they're not gonna use it every single moment, but they want a knife that they can go to and is gonna hold up if all of a sudden they like desperately need a cutting tool. I mean, this thing is beefy, it's strong, great steel. So maybe you're a type of person who doesn't use it every day, is not gonna use it super aggressively, but if you need to, you're like, yes, just, just give me this knife because it's gonna hold up. 
All right, the third person who might like an extra large knife like this, or again, an oversized knife, what I call, is somebody who just doesn't care about the price and how pretty it looks. They just want a solid knife and they're gonna use it aggressively. So there are definitely some people who would get this and say, yeah, it's, it's good looking, but I don't care. I'm gonna beat it up, I'm gonna use it aggressively. Um, I'm definitely a person who likes to use their knives. Like I don't wanna get my knife and just, and never use it. But this one in particular, I just think it's handsome. I would be hesitant to get out there and just really beat on this thing. But that being said, you know, if you don't, if you like the knife, you bought it, you invested the money in it, you're probably gonna to wanna to use it. So maybe you're that type of person who the price or the look doesn't affect you as long as you like the knife you're definitely gonna you're definitely gonna put it through the paces regularly in whatever whatever use where utility around the house out in the backyard in the woods whatever it might be another person who might like the oversized or the extra large uh, EDC knife is somebody who's just got big hands I mean sometimes you get a knife that's just it's too small for you so my hands are large I find you know I can use uh, a knife that fits someone with medium sized hands just fine or extra large hands just fine but if you got like extra large or really big mitts, maybe you're just like, I just need a big hefty knife because everything else is so small. Boom, then buy a big extra large knife, oversized knife, because it's gonna work for you for your everyday, everyday carry type tasks. All right, this last person I was thinking about for like an oversized or an extra large uh, everyday carry style knife. Honestly, it's kind of a random thing, but there's some people who just have boatloads of cash and they're like, yeah, I'll spend 200 plus bucks on a knife and beat the heck out of it and I don't really care. So maybe you just got a lot of money. Maybe you're just loaded and you're kind of like, I can buy any knife I want and use in any any way whatsoever. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe that's you. And so you'll buy a big knife because you think it looks cool, you'll use it because beating it up and getting it scuffed up and whatever doesn't matter to you. So, and yeah, those are people who I was just thinking about, like as I saw, as you saw in the title of this video, it's kind of the Kaiser Critical and knife theory as well. And I've been thinking a lot about how people select knives, buy knives, those different types of things. So I'll be having more videos talking about that. Now that said, let me, uh, let me back the camera up a little bit here. What I wanna do now is with the critical as kind of our our bottom line, the, the platform that we're looking at as the foundation for an oversized everyday carry knife. Let me roll in a bunch of other knives here. Here's the second one, the Benchmade Crooked River. Now there's the Mini Crooked River. This is the full size. I mean, you can see it's very similar in size. It's going to be a little bit lighter than the Critical, um, but it is definitely it's definitely a large knife. And some people, myself included, would EDC either one of these knives. This one's definitely going to be better in the woods and doing, you know, uh, dressing uh, game out in the woods as far as that sweeping blade as opposed to a Warncliffe style. But that's definitely a big blade for a lot of people too. So there's the second one. Here's the third one. This is definitely more budget friendly. I actually used to EDC this for a while. This is the Schrade SCH302. Just an oversized, just, it's really a behemoth. Actually, let me put it down the side here. It's a really big knife. And this one, let me weigh this real, real quick because I think this may be one of the heaviest ones that I've got 10.23 ounces. I mean, that is just a heavy, heavy everyday carry knife. But this one's definitely more budget friendly, um, but it's still just, a, I mean, that's a, that is a big knife. I can remember carrying this and being like, that's quite heavy. So there's a third one. Uh, here's a fourth one, which I have honestly never EDC'd. This is the Kiku, right? The Sog Kiku and cool looking knife, very unique. Let me bring the lighting up here a little bit. There we go. The problem with this knife for me, oops, let me not stab myself either, is right here. Can you see how aggressive? So that's your liner and it just sticks out too far. And so every time I've held it, it just like digs into my hand. So I can tell you, I've never EDC this knife. I've used it a tiny bit, but just not the knife for me when it comes to even an oversized everyday carry knife. It's just, it's uncomfortable. So let me throw a couple more in here. Here's the Kaiser Sheepdog, love this knife. Great knife, fun to use, comfortable in hand. Um, you know, for some people, the width of the blade, even when it's folded up, obviously in your pocket, it's it's still wide. And so they're gonna be concerned about that. But I think that would fall into like a, an, at least a large, if not an extra large um, everyday carry knife. So that's a little bit too big for some people. Let's see, here's a, another one. This is the CRKT Batum. And there is a smaller one, but that is definitely a large, look at it compared to the, the um, Sheepdog, very similar, very similar in size. Let's put this guy, let's put that guy right. Can we fit it up top? Yeah, we can fit it up top, we'll put it up there. So that's definitely a large knife. Uh, S35VN, I think this is S30V, 
This, I don't know what this one is. Does this have, it doesn't say on here. I don't know what this deal is for this guy. Uh, S35VN, this is some sort of 8CR or something. And then this guy I think is an 8CR as well. So you got some more premium steels and then some less premium steels. Obviously these guys are longer, but I still would consider those those top two pretty beefy, beefy knives. Here's another one. This is from Sniper Blade Works. This came in, in a battle box. And this thing is, let me check the weight on this guy as well. Hope I can fit it in. Here we go. Fit it in on camera. 9.275. So that is definitely, once again, a large or extra large everyday everyday carry type knife. I mean, you can see there's just a lot of space even at the uh, even on the bottom there when I'm choked up. So, you know, maybe you want just like a massive beefy knife and that could be the one for you when it comes to an everyday carry. Let's see if I can keep that on camera. I don't know if I can do that. Back that up. Put this like this. That's not going to fit. There we go. Uh, everyday carry type knife. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more knives to show you. So let me uh, swap out everything except the critical and then roll in the next set of knives. Okay, we got a bunch more here. So this is kind of an interesting one. This is a special edition. This is from uh, Real Steel. And this is the H7. And this is, I, I'll probably call it large. I don't know if I'd call it extra large, but it definitely is. It's got some heft to it. I don't even think it's, it's not as heavy as the critical. 5.99, so let's say six ounces. So a little bit, definitely a little bit lighter, but also still I would consider that a large or extra large even EDC knife. This one is very lightweight. This is the Rip Snort, so I'm just gonna show you real quick, but this is uh, the Rip Snort from CRKT and it's a cleaver style. It's, it is quite light though, so I, don't, I think I would probably put this in the large category, so we'll keep that, we'll keep that one out. This one's beefy. This is the CRKT, what is this, two stage. I got it with the VEF serrations. Obviously you can see a big hefty blade. Um, yeah, I mean, still the Kaiser Critical looks bigger than that one to me, but they're in kind of the same uh, same category. This one up here, I got from a battle box as well. This is from Bastion. Let me do this without cutting myself. Bastion knives, I think this one is D2. Yeah, D2 steel. And the weight for this one is 7.705 ounces. So again, large, large knife for everyday carry. Let me squeeze these guys down here. Maybe I can roll in a couple more. This one is lighter, but it's definitely a beefier. This is from uh, from Gerber. And I honestly, I think it's the DMF. This is an S30V steel. They also have one that's in like a kind of a Chinese mystery steel, but this is kind of a cool knife. Um, I didn't realize that it was S30V until a couple days ago when I was looking at it. But the reason I, I rolled this one in, let's see if I can get this little, let's do this. Let's put this one in here. Get the real steel out of the way. The reason I rolled that one in is because I just got this one from Gerber, which is the 06 Auto in Multicam. So let me uh, focus that a little bit here. Bring down the light. Yeah, I mean, I think that's just a, that's a handsome blade. S30V is your steel, but it's definitely a large, I mean, that is a large knife. Again, my hands are large and you can see how much space is left on the bottom. This one feels a little bit lighter to me, but let's take a look and, uh, take a look and see here. 7.065 ounces. So again, anything above six, I would say is moving towards, you know, getting pretty heavy. But there's another one. Here's another one, and then I've just got a, a monster one that I want to show you at the end. This is the Cold Steel, and this is the Pocket Bushman, and this was also from, from Battle Box. So this is, it's not as heavy, but it's definitely a very large knife, but you can see it's got a pocket clip there. It is reversible, so you could everyday carry this. Um, pocket Bushman, most people think about this as an outdoor knife, I think, in general. But there's, a, there's another one to consider. And then let me show you the monster. This is the this last one is from CRKT in their work with Ruger. This is the going heavy. Look at this thing. Look at my hand with the handle. I mean, that thing is absolutely ginormous. I cannot imagine anybody ED seeing this, but if you did, it does come with this sheath. But I mean, look at that. Look at this thing. Just redonkulous. So yeah, it is really, really, I mean, just look at that, man. Like, 
fits across all the knives. So I, I can't imagine anybody EDCing this. I could see this as like a, you know, you got like those books that you put on your coffee table, a coffee table book as they're called for discussion. This would be a discussion topic, the Ruger going heavy. Again, the reason I want to throw these in there is just to kind of show you some of those other oversized, extra large, everyday carry knives. The critical out of all these knives, I honestly, and I'm not just saying this because I'm reviewing it, but out of all these knives, I think it is the best looking. I think it's prettier than even the Sheepdog, which is probably one of my favorite Kaiser knives out there. So even prettier than the Sheepdog. And I think it's actually better looking than this, which is one of my probably top 10 knives is the, uh, the Crooked River. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful knife, um, but the critical I think is even more, even more good looking. Some of these other knives I think are handsome, but the critical I just it takes it to a new level for me for a large or extra large everyday carry type knife. So again, this is about the critical. I want to give you some of the details on it. Tell you I've liked using it. I mean, you've seen it in use a little bit there. It does all my EDC tasks well, but I also want to throw in these um, other knives so you could see. Hey, here's a look at some old other oversized or extra large everyday carry type knives. What are you carrying or what do you carry that's in your rotation that is extra large or oversized when it comes to EDC type knives? So leave, leave me a comment because I'd like to hear what other people are, are EDCing when it comes to the knives that are not just, you know, tiny little lightweight things like the Kershaw leak or something, but they are, they're big, hefty, beefy knives. All right, guys, so this video, again, once again, was less of a review and more of like a knife theory video. So let me hear your thoughts on oversized or extra large EDC knives. And then let me hear from you as well, those ones that you're carrying uh, in your rotation as far as those oversized or extra large ones. Uh, let's get that discussion started down in the comments. I'll put links to these knives down in the description section if you wanna pick up any of them. Shout out to Kaiser for making this video possible, sponsoring it, and also sending me this knife uh, to test out, carry, and review. And you're gonna see this guy in my uh, Instagram and other social media feed because just because I like it. So I'll be, I'll be uh, carrying it and using it. Uh, in the meantime, guys, I want to ask you to subscribe here to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us on our Instagram, Tumblr, and Bureau as well. More videos coming soon. Take care. And then I run a roll. Then I run a roll.